Hey everyone, most of the time, if there's no jungle or support and interaction or anyone coming to the lane, if you're the better top laner, you'll win the lane. But there's something that can prevent this and make the worst top laner win, and that's called a knowledge check. A knowledge check basically means it will be very hard, sometimes impossible, to beat a certain champion if you don't know specific things about how their kit works. It can be just one piece of knowledge you're missing, or a few, but in most cases it's just one crucial point to avoid a full-blown knowledge check. So today, I'm going to go over three champions that straight up knowledge check top laners in every elo, even in challenger. So if you're wanting to play these champions to smash players who don't know how they work, or if you're trying to prevent yourself from being knowledge checked so you don't play so scared and lose to players that are worse than you, then this video has you covered. By the way, we just created a brand new custom course specifically for this guide at skillcap.com. It's there you can unlock over three hours of site exclusive content where we walk you through exactly how to solve these knowledge checks on a ton of other champions so you can win lane and climb the ladder. Find out more along with a discount code at the end of the guide. So the first champion we're going to look at, which most players have no idea how he works, is Kled. Kled is such a great pick in solo queue, especially in low elo, as he's not that hard to play, he snowballs extremely hard, and none of his matchups are too bad. He can win anything. The game we're going to look at here is a smurf game where I was playing in gold versus a Gwen. Alright, and at the start of this game, the Gwen gets knowledge checked hard right away. So I'm going to let you listen in. She not? Does she? Does she not have E? She should. Ooh, she started Q. See, that was a mistake. So now I know I can just like, like do this. See, now and now I can all in level one because Kled's level one is actually good. Oh no, she's about to two. Should be fine though. It's okay as Kled to like take some damage here and be right before you dismount. That's actually what you want. So, as you can see, like, she isn't playing around my W and the fact that I'm just about to dismount. In the clip, I was going all in level 1 because Kled's level 1 is pretty strong and Gwen started Q. But because I was doing a commentary, I messed up a little and didn't realize she was about to hit level 2 first. But this is where Gwen needs the knowledge of how Kled works. Kled's entire game plan is to use his remount to basically cheese you and bait you into thinking you can kill him. After that trade, notice I didn't use my potion. I wanted to make sure my W autos were going to be totally used when dismounted. I don't want any of them to come out before then or I won't build courage as fast as I need to to remount. I was one minion from level 2 and was about to dismount. This is important because Kled's W, which is his most important ability to play around, lets him remount very fast with the crazy attack speed. The catch is, you can't just turn on Kled's W whenever you want. It automatically turns on when it's off cooldown for your next auto attack. So if I go to get a last hit with an auto, I would be forced to use it and then it's on cooldown for a long time. In the all in, I even misplayed slightly because I didn't get my Q off before I dismounted. But either way, Gwen needed to dismount me then back off or wait for me to use my W. When Kled is about to dismount and his W is up, that's the best time for him to bait the enemy, then he remounts and kills. Anyways, I actually missed my recall after I killed her because I was busy explaining what happened and how I killed her. So Gwen got back to lane and had a big wave. I'll let you watch what happens first, then we'll break it down. Look at this. It's like, obviously I don't have to flash there because like they're trying to dive a Kled. <laughs> like, I'm not even close to being remounted. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? All right, this is the next part of the knowledge check on Kled. Most people don't know how his E works. It's similar to Renekton. If Kled's first E hits, he can use another. But the difference is, his second one is straight up targeted. So, Xin, Zhao, and Gwen should never be using their dashes on me at the start before I use mine. This lets me kite them out very easily. Later on in the game, it was obvious Gwen didn't understand this, as I was coming back to lane. Um... I don't know what in the world wow so she thought i was so again from not like i don't know if she doesn't understand kled but like she thought i was gonna just try to hit her with q and she would just use w but i don't need to q her like i should always start with e because i can use the e twice she's actually not killable there for me if she doesn't let me hit the first e because then i can't chase her 
So the key points here to avoid being knowledge checked by Kled are, when he's about to dismount, make sure you know if his W is up. If it's not, you can kill him. If it is, you have to really know how much damage you can do as you'll have to burst him very quickly before he remounts. And second, Kled can only use the second part of his E if he lands the first one. And you should save mobility when trying to kill him for after he uses one of the dashes. All right, let's move to the next champion now. In this game, I'm playing Alawi vs Rumble. Alawi is another classic knowledge check. She might actually be the number one knowledge check for most players. Anyone who knows me knows I have a love-hate relationship with this champion. I love her kit, but she's definitely the worst champion in the game if you know what she does. If you don't know what she does though, it can feel like she's insanely broken. But just like last time, I was commentating over this, so let's listen in for a bit. Like, I have to be able to land my E? Like, if I land my E first, and then Nunu shows up, then we're, we're, we're gaming. But like, if I have to land my E, and then he hits me with the snowball, which is most likely to happen, by the time, and then like, then Rumble puts his ult on top of me with Ignite, eh, we could be in trouble if that happens. I don't know if I'll have and be able to survive. Okay. If he's just gonna use Q like that, we gotta trade back. Okay. Okay, he is dead. If I didn't cancel that auto, of course. It looks like I should have taken that attack speed rune, huh? For this specific clip, it's hard to tell what knowledge Rumble was missing. It was one of the two things. Either he didn't know the fundamental part of League where an AD champion will beat your ass level 1 if you're AP, so you have to respect that, or he didn't know Alawi's W makes her tentacle slam, because he got hit by both of them, and they are so slow that that should never happen. If you see Alawi's W, you know the tentacles are about to hit. What happens next, however, was definitely a knowledge check. He's dead. Hmm. He would have been dead. I'm just gonna flash. I didn't want to flash for that, but. So like, see, he didn't think about the fact that like he was going for that CS with no minions in between us. And I was level two, so I could have got my E. And he's not respecting the fact that I'm an AD champion. And he's just, he's just spamming Q on the wave. He should never be doing that. So now he's completely screwed. Like there is going to, he will not be able to play this game anymore. Alawi has really only one main thing you need to know to fight her. Play totally around her E. Minions block it. So you should always try to keep a minion between you and her. If she misses her E, she's barely a champion. If she lands it, however, in 99% of cases, you need to run out of the spirit range. Sometimes you don't have to, but that's not the point here. Don't do what this rumble and plenty of other players do. You know this guy doesn't want to play against Alawi. He's fighting me in my spirit. That's like my win condition. <laughs> That's like the only time Alawi wins versus things. It's like, yeah, he's just going in no matter what, just flow chart. And a little bit later, the same thing happens. I am in danger here when he hits six, since I don't have my ult. I should be able to push this though and play around my, my tentacles. This is not the play, my friend. So again, same thing. He is just going in, hoping it works this time over the last time, instead of like actually paying attention to why it's not working, right? And remember, of course, I could explain every little detail about Alawi, but that's not what this video is about. It's just the most important things you need to know about each of these champions so you don't get knowledge checked and have no hope of winning. If you play around Alawi's E, you don't need to know the rest of her kit, honestly. All right, and the last champion we're gonna go over that knowledge checks everyone is actually one of the best low elo stompers in the game is Yorick. Yorick has two main things that you need to know to beat him. First, he's actually just like Alawi, where his E is his most important basic ability. But Alawi completely revolves around her E, meaning even if she uses ult, she's useless without her E. But Yorick's ult is the second part of his knowledge check. 
Yorick's R has a long cooldown, and without it, he's like half as strong. So he's really weak without it post 6. But when it comes to pre 6, it's all about the E, just like Alawi. So just like before, let's listen to the live commentary. So if she knew what she was doing, she would use her Q to dodge my E and jump in, like, kind of at the same time. That's, like, what she should do. So she's going to jump in here. Getting creep locked. I don't think I can catch her. Yeah. If I didn't get creep locked, I'd kill her, but you see, like, she's... She's not really, like, even... She's not playing around my E at all. She's just jumping in. So now I'm going to slow push this and dive her. As you can see, when they don't play around the most important ability you have, it's incredibly easy to beat them. This also means you need to play around your E as Yorick. If you miss or if it's down, you have to respect the enemy laner more than usual as you wait for it to come up. Or you can be doing what I was doing there and just totally focus on landing that one ability when you know they aren't thinking about it. Sometimes you get caught overextended with your alt down for 10 seconds, so you have to learn to kite to get as many E's out as possible while waiting for your alt. Hold that sh That's how you kite. I had to stall and kite so long for my ult. All right, and lastly, if Yorick's ult is up, don't be afraid to just focus it down. Just kill it. Remember, it has a really long cooldown, so it's worth it if you can do it and survive, even if you lose a lot of health. All right, guys. So as you can see, all three of these champions have specific things you need to know to fight them or to play them. If you keep these in mind, you won't get knowledge checked so hard, and honestly, you'll have a pretty easy time fighting them as Jorgen and especially Alawi are pretty weak champions overall. And if you want to know what other champions you can easily beat with knowledge checks, then you need our brand new custom course specifically made for this guide at skillcap.com. It's there you can unlock over 3 hours of site exclusive content where we walk you through exactly how to solve these knowledge checks on a ton of other champs so you can win lane and climb the ladder. That's not all though, with our brand new course page, it's as simple as clicking top and selecting the matchups category. And just like that, you have 10 courses with over 60 unique guides breaking down every top lane matchup so you can start stomping your lane. Best part, all of this is risk free with our rank improvement guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Head to skillcap.com and get the rank you've always wanted, discount link in the description below. Clyde isn't super strong, but he's stronger than those two for sure. Either way, I hope you learned from this and I'll see you in the next video.